What's up guys, it's Cameron here. I just wanted to do a quick uh, quick tutorial here. I'm playing steep as you guys can see. Today we're going to be talking about the track called uh, Board Slay. Uh, this track took me ages to do and I just wanted to give some you guys some tips on how you can maybe do it and make it all the process a little bit easier on yourself. So if we look at the map really quick, um, this is where it is on the map. It's right off of, uh, well I guess I haven't even unlocked the island, but let me zoom in a little bit. The Cursed Mountains, which I don't have, I didn't even, I don't have those revealed yet, so I apologize about that, but it's right here. Uh, again, it's called Board Slay. It's an extreme um, bone collector track. Uh, very, 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 very difficult. Um, and basically, it, I beat it by six seconds, essentially, but it took me probably three, four hours to do. It was rough. So the, the line, so basically a couple tips on how to do it that I've learned is what you can do, the best thing for you to do is not jump. There's only one spot where you need to jump the rest of the time. You shouldn't even have your finger on the trigger. You should just be holding forward. Um, no finger on the trigger, nothing like that. Um, just, if you wanna get gold, you have to push forward throughout the entire thing. A lot of people try to jump right here, but if you line it up correctly, you can just fly off and land on the other side very easily, so it doesn't require a jump. Um, and then you come in down here. This part is the hill, a little bit difficult. You have to try to go up, and sometimes when you're on a snowboard, it can bounce you off, like kind of like that. Uh, other times you can hit that hill and completely bounce off. Um, it's really just kind of luck as far as the, the hill part. Um, but once you practice this a lot without jumping, um, you'll definitely increase your time on this course. I think jumping really slows you down and um, it's unnecessary and it makes it a lot more challenging. If that guy tried to jump from the top, again I was actually lined up wrong and I clipped through the ground so that was interesting. Um, but yeah, you just keep trying it over and over. I'm trying to make this, this track took me so long that I probably won't be able to, to actually get it. Uh, for you guys, but I can certainly show you the, the uh, replay of the completed run to kind of show you what um, what to do and explain it that way. This is just me attempting the track. It's, it's a very, it doesn't look difficult, but it's a very, very difficult run, uh, especially if you're trying to do it very quickly. It's really a difficult run. Skis are a little faster, I think, for it. So as you can see, if you line that up right, you can easily clear that. There's no problem. So again, on this part, you just want to go up a little bit so you don't miss. And then again, no jumping necessary on any of these. As long as you hit it right, there shouldn't be jumping necessary. So you're coming on the hardest part. I think this is probably the hardest part is we have to go over the side. So what I do is try to go over a little bit like that, and then up, not on the balloon, but that worked, I guess. It's a hard, that just takes a lot of practice. This one you don't need jump. Again, I fucked it up. That one you don't need to jump. <clears throat> you have to just take the high line, and that'll pull you down into that, into that. So let's just, that was good enough. That was pretty close. So I'll actually show you the run where I completed it. So. If I do it here and find the correct run, which I'm hoping I can do, um, yeah, my best. So here's the run that I did uh, for it. I'm going to get out of here. Um, <clears throat> so we'll just go to ride mode and I'll give you the breakdown. Okay. So as you see, I don't need to have slow down here. Normal speed. Again, you, no jumping at all. Just ride the. Uh, just push forward, hold forward, and you'll you'll fly through. Um, this wasn't a very smooth run either, really. But this is after like five hours of me trying to do this. Um, as you can see here, you come up to the big jump again. You just push forward, no jump necessary, and then I got lucky. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so you do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fighting a cold. And you're going to go up the hill. Like I see I got a little bit of air there. That can kick you out away from the track, so it's very hard uh, to do. It looks a lot easier than it is. Again, up there. <laughs> Excuse me. Again, really lucky riding the side. 
So coming up on the hard part, as you can see, what I, I take a weird line here. So I go up over the side a little bit, land, and then up over, and I get really lucky right on the corner. And as you can see, I completely stopped there, which was ridiculous. But then here he goes. See, I kind of go, I kind of angle myself more of an upward angle, which gets me over. Um, this is the one time you need to jump right here. That was the one time I found that you actually need to make a jump, no and then obviously stopping. there you complete the course. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope this helped you. Like I said, key thing to keep in mind: don't jump. Uh, don't don't jump as little jump as little as you possibly can, and hopefully that'll increase your time and make it a little easier on you. Uh, best of luck to you guys. Let me know what times you guys post. I'd be curious to see if this helped and. Uh, Look forward to more uh, helpful videos coming up from me. Appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.